This week the Super Series has moved to Poland and the competition is taking place in the shadow of one of Europe's oldest and largest medieval castles. The top four athletes from today will be jetting off to China later in the year to fight it out for the sport's greatest title, the world's strongest man. Well, let's take a look at the athletes. First up, it's Steve Bourgeois of Canada, two-time Quebec strongest man, sixth in LA. Dave Austin, our six foot seven real estate valuer from Minnesota, only 23. Carl Wyatoa from New Zealand, former rugby player, now lives in Waterford in Ireland. Odd Haugen, double Dave Ostlund's age, 54 years old. He was Mr. Norway back in 1968. Ravis Vidzis, World Cup of Strongman champion, new to the Super Series. Tarmo Mitt, the man they call the mountain, from Estonia, 6 foot 5, 150 kilo. Elbrus Nigmatulin, European arm wrestling champion. And he's the one who isn't green. Slavomir Tojcik, second in Poland, and that could be second in the world. World powerlifting champion Michael Staroff from the Ukraine. World's strongest man of 2000, it's Yanni Virtanen. And second in LA, it's USA's biggest chance in the form of Jesse Marunde. But the king of the castle. It's Marius Pujanowski, two times world's strongest man and current Super Series champion. Next event is the Hercules Hold, and it's very aptly named because holding on to these cars is difficult when the brakes are off, that's for sure. Now, Dave Ostland, you've got hands like a bunch of bananas there. Surely this is a good event for you. Yeah, it's going to have to be. You know, I need the points right now. It's uh, sometimes good events, sometimes real bad, but you know, i got to hold on as long as I can today. Well, a good time in this. Probably around about 30 seconds okay. for okay. the Vulcan Hercules Ready. hold. Oh. Well, Austin's taken the strain. You can see there, you try and back the cars down as far as possible. A real disaster if the cars aren't at full stretch because then they'll start to roll down the hill. And of course, the momentum picks up and it just tears straight out of your hands. Ready! Well, 23.18 for Ostland. I think probably he wanted better than that. Next out, it's Yanni Viertnen. And he has claims to the best grip in the world. Marius Pujanowski, I'm sure, would like to think he doesn't. Well, these guys haven't had a grip contest against each other in quite a long time. Mouth watering prospect here. Who has the greatest grip in the world? Will it be Yanni or will it be Marius? 25. Yanni, of course, a much bigger guy, much longer fingers and bigger hands, but Marius just so powerful in everything he does. I can see the pain kicking in now, and he's trying to pull his shoulders in there, just offload some of the pain into his traps. Shoulders feel like they're about to pop here as the sinew in each and every joint just gets pulled. Oh, he's going to get over 50 seconds, but can he make the minute? That would be unbelievable with his weight. Agony. Agony as every second goes by 54.97. Hey, Yanni, have you got the greatest grip in the world then? Uh, maybe, <laughs> but still, it's, I'm, I'm not happy because I know it, I, I can keep this one minute. Only 55 seconds, I'm not happy. And Marius, can he do this? I hope no, <laughs> but <laughs> we'll never know. He's Terminator. He's crazy. Thanks for honesty. <laughs> Marius, Yanni does a great time. Can you beat this? Yes, I know. I know. I know. Yanni uh, have a uh, great time. Maybe I also great. Uh, watch. Only two minutes. Watch. Who win? <laughs> well, next out it was Ravis Vidzis. The best he could do was 19.23 seconds. Nick Matulin did a whole lot better, 38.41. Toy check, hole number two. Couldn't quite do as much as Nick Matulin, but managed 36.44. And that brings out Jesse Marunde. And Jesse, a bit like Marius, just doesn't have weaknesses. Fantastic at every event. Five. And listen to this crowd. Absolutely loving Jesse Marunde. Well, 
almost adopting him as one of their own. Look at that. Hey, ice cool. You just can't understand how much pain he's going through at the moment. What is the time to beat? 25. 55 seconds of Vernon is the time to beat. 30. Oh, it's kicking in now. Absolute agony. What's the worry is you'll start tearing the skin on your hands. The knurling on the handles is so harsh. Well, that was a great time by Jesse. Not quite as fast as Yanni Vertnan. But Yanni really needed a huge result there if he's going to make it into the top six in the final event. Remember, we're cutting two guys for the power stairs. Of course, he still has the stones as well to pull back points on. Uh, who's going to be the lucky recipient this time? <laughs> I think you'll appreciate that. Oh, he's taking his own top off. There we go, that's a fair trade. I don't think it'll fit somehow. Oh, this crowd, they do love their strong man in Poland. That just about fits. I think it's, it's probably a little tighter on Jesse than our Polish friend. Jesse, the crowd are loving you here. You're working them into a frenzy. <laughs> hey, we're, we're all having fun. I'm glad they are. I'm having fun too. I, I love this event. It's got to be the most painful event in Strongman. And you know, pain's my homie. You knew that, right? <laughs> that was brutal stuff. But what do you think of Marius going now? Is he, is he the king of this? Uh, Super Marius? He, he's, you never know. He's, it's either going to win or he's going to come close to winning. So here he goes. Ready? So the time to beat 54.97 seconds by Yanni oh. Virtanen. Marunde sitting in second, 41.75 seconds. And it has to be said, after three victories out of three events, Marius just looks like a steam train that is impossible to derail. And he's gone halfway to Yanni, and you can see the pain's kicking in. Look how wide his legs are, trying to get very low. Make his arms much flatter to the car implements. He's having a conversation with his coach there, who's shouting the time at him. It's very loud here, the crowd really going nuts. Ten seconds more for Marius, if he's going to do it, he's gone past Jesse, but no! Yanni yeah, Virtanen takes the victory. And for Marius, it's second place, and you can see he tried every single bit of his body wanting to win every okay. event, but no, just couldn't do it. That's the first hurdle he's fell at. Well, is it our friend again? He's fighting for it, that's for sure. <laughs> Another lucky fan. 